Hi, I'm Susan Huff with Living Your Gifts, and today my business partner Jen and I were talking about what was it that really helped me to get more connected to spirit? Like, what was that little juicy nugget that was given to me? And for those of you that don't know, and those of you that do know, Savant Fusome has been one of my primary teachers. And that little nugget that she gave me when I first started working with her was how important it is to talk to spirit like you're talking to a friend. And, and I had been raised as a Lutheran, so my talking to God before um, Sabofu came along was like, okay, please forgive me. I, you know, I screwed up and I'm so sorry. And if I do this right, will you do this for me? You know, and I did a lot of, I won't ever do that again. You know, kind of stuff. So, but when I got with Sabumbu, she's like, how's that working for you? You know, is that working for you? And what I realized, what really does work for me is like when I take me, the real me, not the goody-goody girl that um, I thought I had to be to God and say like, I am really having a freaking hard time and I need your help and this is what I'm struggling with and this is what's going on and I'm angry and... I, I really need a way to find compassion. When I speak like that, number one, my heart doesn't feel as heavy. Number two, I feel more connected to the divine part of myself, the real part of myself, and I get to feel more connected to God than I did when I was just pleading to be a better person and to do it right. So my tip for you today is, Talk to God like you're talking to your friend. Ask for what you need and talk about what you need to have happen in order to grow into that bigger, deeper person that you were always you always are, but that maybe you've lost sight of. And so thank you so much for joining us at Living Your Gifts. I hope this has been a little nugget for you like it was for me.